Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to another one of my House of Iron 4 challenges. Today we're going to be playing as Luxembourg and beating up Germany. As always, regular difficulty, Iron Man mode and historical focuses. Let's go! And I might seem slightly more relaxed than I usually am in those challenges, and if so, then that would be due to a certain Mr. Jack who's visiting from Tennessee and keeping me company this fine evening. First political effort, and we wait. Playing as Luxembourg isn't actually as difficult as it would seem, but you have to make the right political choices, of course. Political effort is done, let's hire a silent workhorse. His extra political power will work wonders for our country. As for the next focus, industrial effort. Oh, I forgot, I am going to be constructing bunkers all over Luxembourg, but you also need one airfield. With industrial effort, we're going to do the two construction focuses and then armament effort. We have accumulated enough political power to hire an advisor. Let's go for a fascist demagogue, of course, and do the higher-ups. Ha, huh. paratroopers are now researched. Let's train some, shall we? Let's say, like, 12? Maybe. Yeah, 16 is fine as well. Concentrated industry. Again, enough political power to modify the government. I am going to hire a military theorist. Mostly because I will actually need all that army experience he will provide us with. He will provide us with. Construction effort to complete. Now we go for armament. I only need around four or five planes of this type. After that, we will cancel this production line and focus on other stuff. I am purposely not deploying them yet. Let's go with free trade and the final armament effort. The Spanish Civil War doesn't really concern us in this playthrough, although I might end up conquering Spain in the meantime, we'll see. Ah, the coup activator. Soon we'll get an election that will give us plus 10% support, and then, then the coup. Four military factories should be more than enough. I will cancel these two relatively soon, once we build up enough of a supply of infantry equipment, and then we'll focus on fighters, artillery and support equipment. Oh, speaking of equipment, uh, yeah, increase the popularity of fascists, and use our experience to reduce the size of our power trooper regiments. Uh, this is wrong. 3,000 manpower. Let's cancel that line, because we're wasting manpower that way. And a fascist coup, perfect. Right, is it better now? Yes, it is. It seems like a bug, I should probably report this. I can also start justifying war goals, but it's not yet time to do so. Let's go to limited conscription for now. Now we can do collectivist ethos and go down to militarism. It's already September, it's about time we started justifying some war goals. Netherlands tend to get an advisor that makes it more difficult. Did you get him? Yes, you did. Mm, am I going to be ready? Yes. Let's start. Justifying war goals on the Netherlands and on Belgium. Yes, we're going to conquer them both simultaneously to get some factories, which we'll then use to beat up others. Ultimately, in Germany. I believe we have enough infantry equipment stored. Let's uh, cancel that production. So we can start making fighters, which will be more than necessary. Extensive conscription. And finally, militarism. I think four transport planes is more than enough for our needs. Let's cancel that so we can get more fighters. Militarism is complete. That means we have enough manpower and army experience to modify our templates to their desired uh, shape. And this is what we want our paratroopers to be. Let's go to war economy. I'm going to deploy these guys ahead of time. They're not fully trained, um, but if I train them manually, we will be able to get them to uh, higher levels. I'm going to modify the original infantry template and switch maybe four of them. This way they will only require... Oh, wait a minute. How about manpower? Well, I'll disband one if it's necessary. Uh, this way they will only require infantry equipment. One of the justifications is already. We have now less than two months until we attack. Both our war goals are ready now and I have sent my troops to assume attack positions. But we still have a little bit of time before we have to declare the wars. Alright, it's about time to do that now. Let's deploy our planes. 53 fighters. This might be insufficient, actually. We'll see soon. Other than that, we do want to uh, join uh, the Axis. Ask to join faction, slow the game down, unpause for one hour. Oh, did I forget to select a focus? Extra research slot. 
and declare both wars simultaneously. Okay, now they should attack me here, but I have six levels of forts, which should be more than enough to defend ourselves. Now what we need is a superiority. Let's speed things up, and they should distribute themselves along our and German borders. Okay, there's a lot of them here now. This looks fine. All right, let's uh, activate the orders. I have sent paratroopers to all the Belgian victory points. And that should succeed. Let's slow this down a bit, because I'll need to give them orders immediately. Okay, yeah. You attack Brussels, and one of you attacks uh, Ghent. There will be other paratroopers dropping in Brussels soon, and we should win uh, this easily. Okay, now we go to Namur. All five of you. We have taken Liège, and that should be enough to make them capitulate. And it... Uh, is. Yeah, we don't need to fight them anymore. But let's uh, just uh, wait. And they have capitulated. Alright, we are going to uh, Satellite Zaire, because we could always use some puppets, and there's hardly any factories in the area. And they will get their factories from focuses. Other than that, uh, we will we will take all the remaining states, because there's a lot of factories in Belgium. Okay. Pause, pause, pause. And now we need to adjust our orders quickly because we want to annex Netherlands in the same manner. Now you cancel all your orders and manually go north. Now you will go through here to Amsterdam. You will go straight to Amsterdam. And uh, let's say half of you will go to Amsterdam through Eindhoven. I think that's how it's pronounced. You guys will be assigned to a new order, which is a paradrop on Amsterdam. And the guys that were defending Luxembourg will also do... Oh, right, you're not paratroopers anymore. I switched you. Should I switch them back? Yes, yes, I should. I've assigned them some new orders. I'm going to activate them immediately. One on each victory point. Hopefully that will be sufficient. Do we still have a superiority? Yes, we do. Uh, let's unpause and annex Netherlands. Okay, can we get Amsterdam? We got everything else. And that is it. Okay, as for Netherlands, if I just take everything, then Dutch East Indies would stay independent, but we can select to satellite them, and they are going to be an amazing puppet for us. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Take Suriname. Ah, did I want that? That's fine. Suriname is somewhere in South America, right? Oh yeah, that's it. It's fine. Okay, this is our initial attack. And this will provide us with a strong base that will let us... Well, it will let us get the next research slot, but also prepare to fight whoever we choose to fight next. I've had some rest and made my decision. Uh, we are going to stay allied to Germany, but we're not going to join the war against the Allies. Even though it would be fun, um, it would prolong the challenge uh, unnecessarily. Now begins a period of preparation. Although we might declare war in Hungary when they turn fascist and then use paratroopers uh, to land there. I've switched to colonial templates of paratroopers. As for our other puppet, um, the Luxembourg East Indies. They only have an infantry template, a pure infantry template, and but they do have a ton of manpower, so I hope they will be building that pure infantry in large numbers, and then I'll just request it and use it. Now, the fact that we're part of the Axis will probably make it easier for Germany to conquer France, since France will garrison the Maginot Line less, because they have to garrison our borders as well. But we'll see, maybe I'm wrong in this. And we have to closely monitor... Oh, wait a minute, Hungary is fascist already. Well then, 72. This is going to be split into three armies, of course. Now, if I understand the game mechanics correctly, I might be wrong in this, we will be able to send a paradrop from Allied territory without calling our, my ally into war. Might be wrong in this, but I think that is uh, the case. Now, we could use that. Actually, I could use that, yes. I could, get to, I could use that to get technology sharing. 
I just not start the power drop until we finish technology sharing. Okay, we have ideological fanaticism that will let us do technology sharing very soon, uh, which is why I'm not selecting a new focus. We want to declare war on Hungary first. All right, justification on Hungary is ready. Let's declare war and not activate our orders yet. I'm still training those guys. Should I still be training those guys? Probably not. Anyway, now we can do technology sharing. Should have done that immediately, of course. And when that's done, then we activate the order against Hungary and take Hungary. Oh, and France is not doing well. France is going to fall soon. I'm considering who to attack next. Should we attack anyone else? It's possible we could take uh, Bulgaria, Romania, Turkey. Yeah, probably. But I might have to attack China to do so. For quick war justifications. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to finish our focus. And... I feel like it's start justifying already. Let's start justifying on China. And now we can select extra research slot 2. Go, land. Alright. And they surrendered. Now, normally puppeting Hungary is usually a good idea because they, they tend to provide you with a lot of troops. However, I think I will benefit more from just taking their territory. Since we already do have a puppet that has tons of manpower. Oh, that reminds me. I need to request forces from you. We're going to attack China, just so we can justify war goals quickly. Oh, France has capitulated. That was quick. And Italy got all of it. Surprising. Let's declare war. Uh, let's start this. Against Turkey. Anyway, we are ready. Uh, riot justification is complete. Let's attack. And let's try justifying on Yugoslavia. Alright, China has called Turkey, Turkey joined, Romania has been called in, and we're justifying on Yugoslavia. Right, our troops should be able to land... Oh, did I send our planes to do the thing they need to do? Make sure we get our superiority everywhere. Start dropping. Ah, some of them were lost. Is that enough to make you surrender? Now, if I am correct, Romania should be capitulating now. And they did! Okay, with Romania, we're going to take everything. Apart from these two. Okay, we took all that land. Now, Yugoslavia, will you get guaranteed? Hopefully not. I am going to boost party popularity and make them more fascist. Japan has joined the Axis. That could cause us some trouble. Damn it. A week left. Ah, screw that. We don't need Yugoslavia. Extra research. Now that means we move on to technology sharing. Now we do and kind of need Bulgaria. Yugoslavia joined allies. Oh, interesting. Actually, this might be an opportunity because since Yugoslavia joined allies and Yugoslavia is, going, is justifying on Bulgaria... Bulgaria should not get guaranteed if I do that as well. Let's try that. Okay, no guarantee. Let's go. They'll join the Chinese. But as long as Germany doesn't join the Chinese war, we're fine. And they have capitulated. We got all other stuff. Now it's time for Turkey. Let's establish a front line, because they're probably guarding all the victory points. At least important ones. Let's establish a front line, and then we'll do some paratrooper drops. They do. They have 200 fighters. Well, then probably no para drops. Okay, you know what? We don't actually need to defeat Turkey. We just need them to be involved in the fighting. So, in order to, for us to not lose troops pointlessly, I am going to relocate one of my para drop armies over to China and help our Japanese allies. No, don't go through here, there's a Turkish navy. Alright, oh, that's better. It might be further, but you will avoid the Turkish navy. Luxembourg, East Indies, so many troops, I like them so very much. I'll be requesting all of those soon. Can I get Greece? Probably not, but I might want to try. They'll probably get guaranteed by the Allies immediately. Yep, 
cancel. Romania has been annexed by the Soviets, yes. This is why I couldn't take those territories, otherwise we would be attacked. Italy seems to be quite good at protecting the territory they got. Germany usually sucks at this. Germany is doing well so far, we'll see how far they can take it. Okay, they have landed. Let's cancel their orders and get them to an airport. I have a superiority, I have my troops ready, let's do the power drops. China should capitulate shortly. Ah, this one's defended, that's a pity. You take this one. Is that enough to make them capitulate? No, not yet. Oh, there's another I forgot. I think I'm going to join the German war against the Soviet Union. Because they're doing much better in this than they theoretically should be. And that's probably due to Italy holding France. If I can find the precise moment when there's only this one cavalry unit there, I'm feeling pretty confident that I can just destroy it. Yeah, right, they're landing. Ah, okay. China should surrender now. What? Why the hell? Is Germany and Italy taking stuff here? They were not involved in the war. Well, I'm angry now. Oh, now you're giving me war score once all the good stuff was taken, of course. <sighs> At least I did get two provinces. Didn't get Burgess. Pity. It's a good province. Damn it. You know what? I'm going to join uh, the war against the Soviet Union. Because with this situation and with this taken, I'm pretty sure that Germany should be able to beat them. I'm working on reducing their autonomy. Uh, then we'll have uh, the option to, you know, use more of their manpower. Also, I need to get a colonial temporary plate from them. And start training those. Bloody Italy. Took my burgers. Let's just join the war against the Soviets. We can manage that. And I'm going to make you aggressive because you're not using my manpower. Also, I'm going to call Luxembourg East Indies. And Luxembourg can go, because why the hell not, and maybe they'll get some war score, which they will later transfer to me. Yeah, see, they're attacking from the south as well. This might be the deciding factor, actually. Okay, this is looking good, I'm just going to leave it for a while. It's time to add towed rocket artillery to the template. And signal companies. Our war participation has grown to 4%, which is actually a decent amount. Together with our uh, puppet, we have as much as Italy. I have pushed manually a bit and I'm about to take Moscow. That should give me quite a lot of participation. Of course, not as much as Germany will get, but let's be realistic. If I can get like one tenth of the Soviet Union, that's still good. I need to get some manpower back. Um, I'm going to need to create a new template out of you and just make it paratroopers. Although, I think I'm having the most... Uh, success just using paratroopers on empty places so i don't need a full paratrooper unit with all the support stuff i just need a empty paratrooper unit that only lands in empty places let's save that and call it uh, paratroopers crappy that will save me a lot of manpower and i suppose i could duplicate that and make paratroopers non-crappy with all the support companies I might have a use for that later. Paratroopers non-crappy. Let's change all our paratroopers into paratroopers crappy. See, 36,000 manpower. And I can always increase my manpower laws. Actually, Germany. May I get some control of states from you? Okay, I decided to take these and Moscow. Why? Well, because it will make it more difficult for Germany to take these lands. And they will want to connect their territories, so they will want to take them. So they will expand more war score in taking them, thus leaving me with more war score to take whatever I want. Not sure if this is actually a sound plan, we'll see soon. Yay, Luxembourg! Now, Italy, do you want to give me some? You want to give me all of it? Thank you so much! Okay, capitulated. Leningrad has been taken, Soviet Union has capitulated. What can I get at the peace conference? And I could take land myself, but since I am puppeting the Soviet Union, it will be better to just give it to them. So let's end the turn. Okay, let's see how much land we got.
Yeah, Germany got the majority as was expected, but we did quite get quite a lot. How many factories? Lots of manpower, yes, 26 civilian, 31 military. Not great, but decent enough. Also, countries like Xinjiang will also contribute. Of course, they have less factories and manpower, but they are not irrelevant. They'll make troops and then I will take those troops. Quick update, Norway has been defeated and the United States have joined the war. But I'm pretty skeptical as, um, as to their ability to actually do something. I've started justifying a war goal on Tanutuva, which somehow escaped our annexation and is communist and independent, so we should be able to annex it without any trouble. And for now, I have completed the justification of a war goal against Tanutuva. Tanutuva, of course, is mm, communist, so we can attack them without any consequences, and I will call in my puppets to do that. A nice little territory sandwiched between my puppets. Is it going to be safe? and a good source of factories. Turn to vice capitulated, where is my peace conference? I am going to take it for myself. Extra factories, thank you very much. I have no manpower, but I can still deploy these guys, which is great. I could actually just use them like this. Alright, I'm tired of waiting and I'm pretty sure I can deal with them now. Let's get ready to fire the axis, requesting all the forces from all my subjects. Almost all our troops have arrived in position, the few stragglers, well, let's just say they will have to make do somehow. Long story short, we have to exit uh, the faction and then re-request all our puppet units, because they will be sent home when we change the faction, mm, and then, well, then we attack. Of course, we could easily defeat the allies together, but that's not the goal. I have already, mm, you know, strayed from the goal by taking a lot of Russian territory. But it was, it was a stepping stone. And now we leave the faction. Theoretically, Germany should still have a war goal on me. Or they should do around Maginot. No, they have done that. Maybe the war goal has expired, not sure. We have left uh, the faction, now I need to re-request all the troops and do the orders properly. Yeah, right, mm, I have uh, distributed them properly, now it's time to justify a war goal. And it's going to be against Italy, because Germany has modifiers that make it last longer, as you can see. So, let's attack Italy. Let's conquer Rome. I had to use fallback line orders, because uh, you can't drag a front line among multiple, you know, guys. Are you not getting supplies? Oh, that's a problem. These naval bases are not enough for you. We'll need to connect immediately. Justification is ready. I'm going to quickly rejoin the faction. Again, I'm going to transfer some of these forces over to our main territory because the supply situation here is not great. Go through our temporarily allied territory and once you're through, we'll exit the faction again, and then re-request the troops, and so on, and then declare war. I did keep the paratroopers. I might use them to disrupt enemy supply lines. Maybe that won't be necessary. Our troops have arrived, time to exit the faction again. Well, not all of them have arrived, but most of them, and that's enough. Okay, once again. Do I still have the war goal in Italy? I do. So again, leave a faction. And again, we need to re-request all the units. It is a bit tedious. Declare war immediately. And I'm not calling my puppets in. Luxembourg declared war in Italy. Nationalist Spain has been joined, has been called in, and Germany. Now I can redo the order. Let's cancel that. And get a front line. All right, let's see how well we can do. You're also at war with Japan, but that's not a big problem. Because I didn't call my puppets in. So they have virtually no way of hurting us. It is looking good so far, but they have not had the time to prepare a defense. See, they're starting to actually provide some defenses, but we are advancing fast, and they are unlikely to be able to resist. You know what? Do I really need to garrison those ports here? I don't think so. Once we reach Switzerland, I will be switching up the attack orders a little bit. 
Ah, the Allies have used the opportunity to land a raiding party. Well, it isn't a big one. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot to research shock and awe, because I was waiting for the bonus. Damn it. All right, this is looking okay. This is looking okay. okay we're losing ground here, but um, this isn't important. These guys here are necessary, yes, but they're mostly necessary for the Axis to split their forces and to try to defend against us on both fronts. And thanks to that, we can have some amazing progress up here. Also, let's get a new order for Italy. Hmm, France did regain a little bit of territory. Then again, no, don't take Vienna. I want to take all the Polish territory. Essentially, the moment we take Vienna, they surrender. Um, but if I can occupy all the Polish territories, we will have control over them until the end of the war. How are we doing in Spain? Not great. How are we doing, how are we doing in Italy? Great. Do you know what? We're almost able to connect the territories. If we can connect the territories, my troops down here will start receiving reinforcements and thus stay alive. Spain is holding strong, Italy isn't. As you can see, we have connected our territories. We now control all that used to be Poland. Let's proceed to capitulate Germany. Vienna time, everyone. How about Italy? Well, there, there usually is a problem with Italy concerning Palermo, but uh, as you can see, the Allies have already landed there. And they should surrender now. German Reich has capitulated to us. Orders redone. Won't take long. Let's take Croatia and Italy. Italy has capitulated. Of course it has. And I got the land. Slovakia has capitulated. Here is a little trick I decided to play on the Spanish. I'm going to send all my paratroopers, one for each province. I have uh, purposely excluded all the port provinces and the frontline provinces because they are likely to be defended. And I'm going to send them and hope they can disrupt enemy supply and thus give me an easy victory. Also, I've deployed some fighters to ensure uh, air superiority. Let's see if we can do that. Hmm. Seems like all of them are defended, or almost all of them. But see, these guys are really expendable because it's just one unit each. And they will on, they only make sense if you drop them into empty provinces. Um, but once you do, the enemy will either lose supply, because we'll cut that off, or the enemy will focus on defeating them and thus um, give us some room to advance. So even if we lose all of them, and that makes us capitulate Spain, well, it will still be worth it. Now let's cancel these orders so I can see clearly now. The drops have gone. Should be a bit easier now, if they can redistribute themselves properly quickly enough. It did cost us those paratroopers. Alright, oh, finally. Spain has capitulated. That means the only remaining bit of resistance is Japan. And I might have to deal with it myself. I've distributed the troops accordingly. Oh, I forgot these paratroopers. Oh well. You can just stay and do whatever. I need to occupy a an airbase. Should have gone with heavy fighters. Pusen, yeah, Pusen? Well, this place is garrison, so we're not going there. Someone has landed. It isn't me. Is it Australia? We managed to land a few units, but I can't get a port. Perhaps if we get a little bit more territory, I'll be able to snag one of those ports. And then we can expand more. But as you can see, the Allies are also landing troops. Um, is China considered a great power? Yeah. Frustrating. I hate having to fight Japan at the end of a campaign. We're using the semi-crappy paratroopers. Seems like we need to take Nagoya now. But now... Well, now we have supply. Oh, you have taken Osaka back. That is unfortunate. Alright, Japan is about to capitulate. I have landed a few uh, paradrops, and now we just need to take uh, Nagoya, most probably. And they should give up afterwards. Alright, finally. In the meantime, you guys go and take care of China. Yeah. The US or UK is nuking people, but they're not nuking the right people. They should be nuking uh, reorganized nationalist China, and they are nuking Yunnan Free Empire for some reason. Okay, hopefully it will end soon. Not much longer left, hopefully. Um, actually, I do have one nuke, so let's waste it. In other words, let's drop it, even though we don't have to. On a place that doesn't need to be nuked. Boom. Alright. 
I should capitulate. Mm, probably when I take this. Maybe when I take this. Probably when I take this. And there's the peace conference. All right. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick that will stop uh, the other parties in your peace conference, like you know, like the other allies, from actually liberating countries or uh, or getting or getting you know freeing countries, changing their governments, and so on. Um, we're going to shadow puppet everyone. Not really puppet, because it doesn't work. If you do it that way, and then end the peace conference, you will end up without puppets. But it's good for preventing the Allies, and I only want to take stuff for myself, because we are ending this playthrough, and I want it to look impressive. So, how do we shadow puppet people? Um, I should probably make a separate video about this. Uh, we click every participant one by one and click take all states and then do all the satellites and a puppet next Japan take all states satellite satellite puppet don't do those with numbers so you can do those separately and then unselect take all states see they all cost zero but they will count as uh, us uh, kind of reserving the, the puppeteering and if we continue from there and then give them territory that will not work they will not end up as puppets but what we could do is make them puppets with just one province then that would work where was i all oh, right continuing with that italy take all states satellite everything puppet untake all states and repeat for all participants the allies can't change governments or liberate countries zero cost like 40 or 50 puppets um, but we won't really get them it doesn't really work if you leave it like this uh, you have to give them at least one province when you are initially puppeting them. Otherwise, this will not work. I have to stress this. Okay, but it will work if all we need to do is take land. And all we really want to do is take land. First, let's fulfill the requirements of the challenge. It was to annex Germany. I am interpreting that as taking all Germany's original cores. But we can easily do that and more. So let's extend that to taking all of Germany's cores, period. So the stuff they got through events as well, like uh, uh, Czechoslovakia and Memo and Austria. Okay, we've done that. We have plenty of war score left. So um, let's take some more land and make our country look a bit more impressive, shall we? This is as much as we can take in the first round of negotiations. Let's end the first round. All right, so UK and US um, are very likely to take some land in Asia. What we are going to do is pass several times, so we have a ton of war score. Oh, Britain took all of Africa. I'm fine with that, I was not interested in that land anyway. And I can easily defeat Britain if I so choose. Okay, Luxembourg took 260 states. We ended up with one and a half thousand factories, although we probably have like another thousand to repair. And normally I would probably pop at them, but we're ending it here and I wanted my country to look good. And it does look good. Okay, so there's the challenge for you. Luxembourg was supposed to conquer Germany, but the situation was such that I really couldn't do that without conquering much else. And in the end, well, we ended up taking a lot of territory. But in the interest of keeping our borders tight, because I know some of you really, really don't like expansive borders, but yeah, that like looks nice, doesn't it? I am going to release some puppets, not Germany. But we only need the Germany, so I am going to, for example, release Italy. I'm going to release uh, Shangxi. We're only going to be left with German lands. Belgium, I mean, this is pretty much my core afterwards, isn't it? Although I need a good thumbnail, so I'll release everything but Germany, and then post that, and people will wonder how that happened. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's release uh, Poland. Czechoslovakia and Austria stay because they were next by Germany. Okay. And this is going to be my new thumbnail. Just need to have the name Luxembourg pop up. Yeah, looking good, isn't it? And this looks like we're kind of small, but I'm going to create my own faction just to show you all the territories we have conquered. So, let's create a faction. And call it Luxembourg, something Luxembourg. Oh yeah, let's call it Lux Perpetua, which means, I think, eternal light, but in... Oh, better idea. Lux 
Luxembourg Perpetua. That's eternal Luxembourg, isn't it? Yeah, right, now I need to invite all the countries to the faction. Oh, I got the Puppet Master achievement. I think I never went so far with the puppets. I have invited all my puppets to my faction. Let's unpause. Yeah, it's quite a lot of puppets. All right. And now let's have a look at our faction. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now I could turn this into a full world congress. Wouldn't really be much of a problem. We still have quite a lot of time left. Um, but that was not the challenge, was it? The challenge was to take Germany. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you thought about it, if you liked it, if you didn't, what you would have done the same, what you would have done differently. And most importantly, let me know what other challenges you would like to see on the channel by suggesting them in the comments. And the highest voted comment with a suggestion is very likely to be filmed. Also, if you would like to support what I do and maybe let me do more of it, a Patreon link is in the description if you'd like to support the channel. And that is it. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.